Sick inside again. Sometimes, yeah, I'd like hard to stand on my own two feet. Hey, hey, YouTube! This is Red Sox fan. Finally back again with a new episode of Let's Play Vanilla World of Warcraft. This is episode 53, and last time I left you guys off, I had just ran Scarlet Monastery Cathedral with, I, I can't even remember who I ran with, just a bunch of uh, random peeps. It was a pug, a pickup group. But here I am back in Dustwallow Marsh, and uh, I'm going to have to do my best to navigate through these crocolis infect, uh, infested waters. Or I should say dry wallow infested waters. They're vice jaws and snappers, and there's also some spiders. But I'm going to run over here. I'm back in Deswaller Marsh to do a few quests just for this episode. And let's actually see here. Um, North Point Tower. This is where I want to be. Um, there are some Thermore sentries, and um, I think, I believe they're all sentries. Yeah, along this point. And that's the quest I'm actually going to. Well, I'm not going to do. I'm not going to kill the sentries. I got to kill the spies. Where are they? Thermore infiltrators. Um, have taken their positions east of Brackenwall Village. They spy on the village, report their movements, hunt them down. So east would be this way. Okay, so they're going to be over here in, in this general area, and they're going to be, I'm assuming, like, stealth and whatnot. So I, I just got to run around and find them. Um, I'm going to actually buff up real quick get my uh, lightning shield and Winfrey weapon. Gosh, it's been so long since I've played this character. Anyway, I'm back here in Deswalla Marsh to do a few quests, and most of the quests, if you're if you're around the level I am, most of the quests that you pick up inside Brackenwall Village by some of the ogres are going to be way too uh, high for you to do, like level-wise. The, there are quests for all the way down here, which is where um, Anixia's lair is located. So it deals with like the black, um, the black dragon flight and uh, dragon can and their elite quests and they're all they're way too hard um, to do at this level especially by yourself so I'm just gonna try and and do a few quests so that I can here's one um, Theramore infiltrator so let's see here uh, they're level 36 around there the, the quest is actually green so it shouldn't be too hard to complete if you're close to 40 around 40 and I was actually debating on whether I should stick in Dustwallow Marsh or if I should head out to uh, back to um, Stranglethorn Vale because I have oops I have a bunch of quests there that I can do. Well, okay, three quests I guess isn't a bunch, but I guess for now I'll stick in Dustwallow and um, I probably will not level. Ooh, stay away from the Crocolis because I actually don't know if I have any quests to kill them. Let me check really quick. Really quickly, hungry um, Myrfin head. You might be able to, to loot them from from the crocolisks. Um, black shield. I I tried doing the black shield. I was um, running around and I was uh, what's the word? I was uh, not camping, but uh, I was killing those spiders for like half an hour and not one acidic venom drop. Um, acidic. The hell is it called? Uh, venom sack dropped not once so uh i just said you know fuck this i'm out of here and i i left i can't remember what it was it was in one episode i can't remember what episode it was in so it looks as if i've run out of infiltrators to kill and it looks like i've been disconnected this does not bode well yes I believe I've been disconnected from the server. Don, I'll be right back, bro. Uh, I'll be right back. Guys. So one thing I uh, did not miss was the random disconnects from this server. And then when I log back into the game, I'm spawned in the middle of three crocolisks. So I I booked it out of there, and it was actually pretty funny because I logged in, and for about ten seconds, I was like in the middle of them, and they uh, they weren't attacking me or anything, and I was just like. Oh, what's going on? Are they gonna attack me? Am I safe? I, I'm not. I'm not gonna make any sudden movements before they they uh, pounce on me. So I don't know. I I think Withervine Bark Ripper. That's not like a rare or anything, but I don't have any quests to kill it. I have the only quests I I I think I can like 
accomplish within this episode. Well, not the only one, but without cutting away is the the infiltrator quest. But it, it looks like there's like not even I can't even find any of them. Uh, that's a snake. You have to they're they're stealth for sure. So you have to like run near them, and then you can kind of make out their their like name plate and everything, and then you can start and try to attack them. There is actually one quest I can I can attempt that I tried in the last episode, but it it did not uh, go very well. And um, where is it actually? I forget where. Um, oh, yeah, here it is. Ogron. Um, so basically, uh, with Ogron, we'd make our way over to this little Theramor camp, and then I have to kill like five mobs at once, and it's ri completely ridiculous. I don't think I can do it at this level, so I'm not even gonna try it. Um, toad. I could just explore in this episode, unless you guys really want to see me do some quests. But I could make my way over, um, there is, it's actually, I think it's called Mud Sprocket. It's down, is down in, uh, Southern Dry Wallow Marsh. I know there is, Theramore is over here, uh, Theramore Isle, where the proud Lady J Jaina, no, the Lady Jaina Proudmore, I don't know why I was going to say proud, because her last name is Proudmore. <coughs> Oh, bollocks. I forgot to turn off the... The ringtone of the phone, so it's right next to the desktop. So that is a uh, rookie mistake, you know, rookie mistake. It's been a while since I've been in the game. Actually, do I have any fish? Um, I do have some fish oil. I could just run across um, the bay. But for now, I'm just going to run along the edges and... I think eventually I'm going to fall and, and I'll have to run. Um, let me get some fish oil. Boom! That water walking sun and ghost wolf. Check this out. Oof. I'm like, I'm, I'm focusing my chakra at the bottom of my feet and that's how I can walk on water. No, I'm just kidding. Actually, you might be thinking, what the, have you been watching Naruto? But the answer is no, I haven't. I think I can make my way up through there. I just remember that from like one of the very first episodes is like focusing your chakra and blah blah blah. You guys really don't care about any of this, do you? You just want to see me kill some bitches and Witch Hill. That's there's a there's a little uh, hut in Witch Hill where there are some quests and um, there's a quest chain and, and it eventually leads you to kill this giant gargoyle that comes down and he's been haunting the swamp. I I think that's what the whole quest chain was about is you stopping them um there are going to be some what are they called husks zombie husks or something in this area so there are some zombies uh bark ripper i don't remember you ever being there um well, i guess there aren't any husks i guess they 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 added those in post vanilla so here we are at swamp light manor i believe there's two quests in here is there just one i guess we'll We'll see. Let's talk to him anyway. Swamp Eye Jarl. Bring three soothing spices to Swamp Eye Jarl. Um, well, I could, uh, where, where do I get these? I, the soothing spices. Why would you want those in the first place? There's no one in here. I've been misled. I have no idea where to get soothing spices. Do I buy those? All I get in return is, is Frog Lake Stew. This is... This is lame. I'm out of here. You can suck it. I know there actually is over here. Uh, I don't know what this island is. I can't remember off the top of my head. But over here, there is a whole uh, Murloc encampment. So uh, let's go over there. And I believe if you kill one of the Murlocs, he drops a quest item. One of the things I remember from from Witch Hill is there were a bunch of... I guess I guess not anymore. Oh, there's some, some Murlocs. Um, there used to be a bunch of, like, apparitions and ghosts. I guess they, they changed that and they added that in, in, like, Burning Crusade. I mean, obviously they did, because they're not here anymore, but this place is a lot more, um, there were, like, specters and, and, and shit like that. Um, there is, or there was, a murloc that would pat up here. I forget what his name is, but he did drop a quest item, but I don't see him at the moment. Oh, and by the way, um, I fixed the mouse issue that I was having where 
none of my key bindings were working on my mouse. Just so happened that I had to re-download the uh, the mouse driver and then like install it and then boom, I fix it, sort of. So I mean I can use it now so I can open my map, my character pane, all this stuff. Let's check out my talents, I haven't checked them out in a while. Oh, I'm two levels away from Stormstrike and then shit gets real. Mudrock Tortoise, huh? What's out there? I, I kind of want to go out there. Just to see what's up, you know? Like, all the way out there. I think... Oh, yeah. Once we get past this, we'll start getting fatigued. So maybe I, I shouldn't. Or should I? I'm gonna try it. Alright, bros. Here goes nothing. Actually, well, let's just uh, investigate over here. I don't know if we get any quests to kill any murlocs over here. Whoa, there's a murloc right there. I'm surprised he didn't, um, I didn't aggro him. Alright, whatever. Yeah, once we get out into the to the open ocean, we start getting uh, fatigue down. I don't know if we can make that in a minute. It's a, a long, treacherous journey. Oh shit, we're not getting fatigued or anything. Alright, let's go. Let's go. I, if I remember correctly, there are a bunch of elites on this aisle. I think it's more dragonkin and shit. Whoa, who just whispered me? Crime Rida, DPS or heal and SM arms. Oh, arms? Fuck yes. Alrighty guys, so sorry about that uh, little um, quick cutoff, but what happened was, what the? Foggy, not foggy. Foggy, not foggy. Make up your mind, Silver Pine Forest. Okay, so what happened was, the game crashed, and then, I don't know how long, um, how long ago the recording was cut off because I had to like shut down D3D gear um, that's the new recording software I I'm using and I think so far it's better than Fraps for the most part uh, we'll see how you guys uh, end up liking it but yeah the game crashed um, vanilla crashed and so I got cut off and if you guys didn't see um, in I was in Deswall Marsh I made it all the way out to Alcaz Island and I was I uh, aggroed one of those uh, hydras that are, uh, I'm assuming they're level 60 elites, uh, and I ran away very quickly, and uh, they didn't kill me, so I was lucky, and then I eventually, um, I was added to a group, and I'm going to go ahead and DPS SM Armory right now, and so I was saying that this whole episode, I know I said it was 53 in the beginning, but I'm going to change it, and it's going to be... Uh, episode 52 and a half so I, ho I hope you guys don't mind that and uh, episode 53 will be out soon uh, because it is going to be a uh, another dungeon run it's going to be uh, Scarlet Monastery Armory where I, we get to kill the infamous Herod or Herod and I'll loot his uh, Ravager I don't know if I'll actually use it it's it's close to 40 DPS I think but the only upside is the um, the whirlwind effect. I don't know if I want that or not. Uh, plus, I'm in a group with a warrior and two other shamans, one of which will be the healer, so... But he might be, um... What the hell is that? Ralston Farnsley. Alright. He might also be, um... Specced into enhancement like I am and just healing it just to heal it. I don't know. So... That's it for this episode. Um, I know it... I don't know how long it is, roughly, especially because it got cut off and I had to, like, re-record this little part at the end. But I hope you guys enjoy it, and uh, stay tuned for episode 53, the real episode 53, which will be a uh, dungeon run for Scarlet Monastery Armory. In the meantime, guys...